One of the most requested features on Roll20 is finally here. If you've ever wanted your players to walk under canopies or step into ruined buildings, you're going to love the new foreground layer. Now in beta for Plus and Pro subscribers in any jump gate game, the foreground layer lets GMs add objects above the token layer. Create dynamic, immersive maps that react to your players in real time, like tree branches and archways that fade as characters pass underneath. Here's how to use it in your games. Step 1. Access the foreground layer from the Layers menu in the Roll20 toolbar, just like you would with the map or token layers. Step 2. Once you're on the foreground layer, you can add objects like tokens, drawings, or text. These will render above everything on the token layer. Step 3. To easily customize your foreground objects, you can access the right-click menu or individual token settings. Now, here's where the magic happens. Conditional Fade allows foreground objects to fade to a preset opacity when GM or player-controlled tokens move underneath them, or keeps them opaque when turned off. Don't worry about losing your tokens. Nameplates and token bars will remain visible to the person controlling the token, and they can still be clicked from the token layer. Use the Hidden by Darkness toggle to control how the foreground layer interacts with dynamic lighting. You can set objects to appear above or below your light sources. Use Grouping to batch multiple objects together. Settings apply across the group, so you can customize many objects at once. Once grouped, any of the grouped objects' bounding boxes will trigger your configured settings. To group objects, hold Shift and select multiple objects, or drag the Select tool across your desired objects. Then right-click and under Advanced Transform, click Group. The foreground layer is designed to be just as fun for GMs to build as it is for players to explore. To make it easier for GMs to set up their games, we updated the GM Hamburger menu so it's more convenient to design your maps. This updated menu lets you adjust GM darkness, foreground, and GM layer opacity, toggle the foreground layer on and off for players, and as always, quickly preview your map as a selected token, copy your game link, toggle dark mode, report bugs, access the help center, and exit your game. Your feedback during this beta is going to shape the future of the foreground layer, and we can't wait to hear from you. So, what kind of scenes are you going to build? Let us know below and subscribe for more Roll20 tutorials and updates.